Thank you very much for checking on my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Echo Simpson and I hail from Cape Coast, Ghana, West Africa, Africa to be precise. And this is Africa to the world. You know, we joining the campaign, pulling Africa and pushing Africa to the world. That is what we are all here for. And that is what my channel is all about. So if this is your first time of checking my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's grow this audience to the largest number we can you know make it happen so um last year 2019 was a great year and uh, in the history of ghana in the history of tourism in the history of investment in africa we will say ghana were talk of the year you know talk of the world because of the year of return uh big ups to my president nana akufado who brought this initiative of officially inviting you as a, a brother and a sister from the diaspora to the motherland to you know uh, connect culturally uh, economically socially and then you know create families and build you know let's come together and do something all right so last year 2019 due to this collaborations we even had uh letoya she's the uh, mayor of new orleans you know louisiana visiting ghana and partnering with one of the cities or the metropolitan uh, assemblies in Ghana, which is Cape Coast. So there was a sister, you know, city sister relationship between uh, New Orleans and then Cape Coast uh, Metropolitan Assembly. And I know for sure that when this pandemic is down, we would have, I mean, we will see the outcome or whatever they have been doing. Today being 19th of August, I have this beautiful information for you. Now, there is another partnership between these two beautiful, uh, wonderful cities across the world. So, which two cities am I talking about? We're talking about Stonecrest uh, City in Delta County in Georgia, United States. You know, collaborating with one of the most busiest uh, cities called Kaswa. So, today being 19th, uh, they had a a virtual communication a virtual event where both mayors of these places talking about jason larry of stonecrest and then michael mensa of kaswa municipality you know coming together to form this sister city relationship we will give uh credit to this partnership to nana obokesi ampa uh the first who is a chief of asebo kingdom or asebo traditional area who is currently in the united states and he's not working alone he's working with a lot of awesome you know men and women out there in the united states and right here on the motherland ghana so today they had a virtual event where both uh, parties introduced themselves and then also gave out uh, the reason why they want to come together uh, i remember the one with latoya and uh from new orleans and that of uh ernest atta the mayor of cape coast uh, they talked about you know investment they talk about education tourism and many more um i took a highlight of the conversation that jason larry and then michael mensa you know the new twin sisters coming together what they talked about so i'm going to show you the highlights but bear with me that i had to take the video with my phone right on my computer so the quality would be a little bit down but i want you to listen to the information it was beautiful they shared a lot of things and i know that pretty soon next year 2021 we will have a lot of collaborations with cities here in ghana in nigeria in africa and then that of the united states so thank you very much for checking me out um we are feeling very excited this morning this is a very beautiful wonderful occasion it's something that has been ordained children of africa coming together to connect at the highest level Children of Africa coming together to connect a city in Ghana to a city in the U.S. This relationship, I know, is the beginning of greater things to happen. The beginning of greater things to happen to the city of Kaswa and to the city of Stonecrest 
and to our two beautiful countries, the very beautiful country of Ghana and then the United States of America. I would like to welcome all these very wonderful people on this uh, platform right now to this very noble, 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 noble ceremony. And uh, I would like to thank Warrington Consortium and our foundation, Obukesi Foundation, and uh, all these people, wonderful people, Sheikh Musa, all these wonderful people who have uh, made sure this marriage is coming to fruition. Thank you. May our African ancestors be our guide as we navigate through this one hour or so. Thank you very much. At this time, we'll have Mayor Laurie, if you would be so kind to share a little bit about your city and introduce yourself, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm Mayor Jason Larry here uh, in Stonecrest, and thank you all very much for uh, being here uh, and on this uh, auspicious occasion for today. Um, we're a city of 54,400, almost 55,000 people uh, here in Georgia. Uh, in the United States. And um, with that, uh, we've been around for actually uh, three and a half years, uh, not like uh, some centuries that other cities have. We are a, a new city, and we're built on the, the, the area of economic development. I'm just going to give you a short welcome as we, as we sit today and then go into more um, of um, um, what the actual city is about. Um, but uh, we are proud to tell you all that we are the largest majority African-American city uh, created since slavery. And um, with that, uh, we are proud that we're able to offer the uh, services for our citizenry and also um, to make sure that uh, we take care of the folks that we have here in town. Um, I just wanted to give a short welcome as we start today. And uh, when we move uh, through the program, I'll give you a little bit more detail as to uh, who we are. I'm also glad with my team of officers. Most of them are online now. I have my finance officer online, the coordinating director who acts as the chief of staff of the city. is also with us. I have the economic planning officer. And, of course, I have an officer from the uh, works department and then the internal auditor department. We, the name Ewutu Senior East, um, being given to the municipality is because the land here, the indigenous are the Ewutus, and so they are the custodians of the land. And then we, as a city, was carved out from the Ewutu, the 10 Ewutu Senior District, and so in, with the LI 20 25. And in June 2012, the city was given birth to. And then um, we have a population of about 300,000 people. Indeed, we are the fastest growing community in West Africa. And um, we are also glad to be linked up with uh, Mayor Larry and his team in Georgia Stone Crest. Uh, this is because um, we are in the central region, and this is where you find most of the forts and castles in in Africa, where um, African Americans, our ancestors, were taken away to the U.S. So we feel more of a pilgrimage <laughs> to be connected to the city of Sucrest, so that we can interact. So as we go on, we'll be more than happy to give you further information. Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Sheikh Musa Saleh. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I am the Imam or the chaplain at Henry County Islamic Center, as well as a regional manager for Halal Co., as well as the technical auditor. Uh, it is uh, a privilege to be here this morning, and uh, I would like to uh, Greet uh, the mayor and uh, the Kaswa mayor and uh, Nao Bukesi and everyone, my brother Jabari, Kesi Jabari, and for those who you know helped to make this dream, you know, come true. Uh, and I just remember where all it all started, you know. And uh, wow, 
that shows how you know uh, the good intention that both parties has you know and now look at us uh, we are up to something bigger than all of us I pray and I pray and I pray that God make this you know uh, initiative very very successful and very very beneficial for all of us uh, we ask him to guide us uh, to protect us with his protections and to guide us with his guidance I pray that by the time that this meeting is going to come to an end, all of us would achieve the greater objective of this meeting. I pray that uh, he grants us health and protect us and uh, preserve us, all of us and our family, and make this world of us very, very peaceful uh, and very, very prosperous. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And now uh, we're going to have uh, open it up for the press. If anyone is interested, you're welcome to ask questions amongst the mayors. Um, we're going to kick it off with just a starting point, just have a little conversation in regards to how this sister unit will come about. So between Mayor Lari and Mayor Mensa, if you'll allow a little time and just telling us a little bit about the starting point of the Sister City Union. All right. Um, we're here today to be able to uh, certainly announce the uh, newly formed uh, union with our Sister uh, City uh, and our Sister City relationship. Uh, um, um, Mayor Mensa and I have had uh, several conversations and we share some things that are uh, alike in, and in our culture, but can certainly enhance uh, and learn from each other some of the things that uh, we are doing as we grow as a city and as they grow as a city also. Um, uh, and, and also let me, let me say we we are anxious to come, uh, Mayor Minster, and uh, visit Cashwell so that uh, we can see firsthand exactly uh, what we read so much about in that area. Um, but as we sit today, uh, we want to uh, learn from each other and uh, prosper from each other uh, culturally, educationally, commercially, uh, industrially, and um, um, try to find uh, a way that uh, we can uh, share some great ideas between uh, the two cities. Uh, we're very strong financially here in Stonecrest. And uh, what I've seen with uh, uh, the city of Caswell, they're very uh, strong culturally and also uh, historically uh, in their area. So we look forward to really being able to exchange ideas um, and to strengthen both cities as we hold hands together. Very much, Mary Ali. Um, we 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 here are also glad, and I'm happy to be linked with your city. And um, like I said, and you also rightly mentioned, we share a lot of things in common. And um, we have a huge population size with serious comments, opportunities in terms of comments. Um, 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 in terms of manufacturing, yes, we are also available. We have land space for a lot of development. And then we also are more than ready to meet you. Yeah. And also... Hello. Um, Hello. In, 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 in terms of um, knowledge knowledge transfer so that uh, we can both build our cities together. We have a lot to learn from Stonecrest, and I believe that culturally and then uh, historically, Stonecrest also have uh, a lot to learn from Ubuntu, Senyai, uh, and Kaswa. So we are more than happy to, to, to be with with, with uh, Mayor Larry and his team. Important question, most important question. Um, we are known as a contract for services city. And with that, sir, uh, we contract with an organization by the name of Jacobs. Um, Jacob provides uh, all of our, our personnel, our talent, um, and from there, uh, we have the advantage uh, of being able to start a new city with actually zero cash flow, which is nearly unheard of. In fact, it is unheard of. And what we did from this point, sir, is uh, uh, being a contract for services city, uh, they provide uh, everything that we need uh, from personal
personnel to insurance uh, to const uh, construction opportunities for road paving, uh, public works, they are very, very good. Uh, so we are one of those uh, uh, new cities that have decided to uh, not bring uh, services in-house, uh, but to contract with organizations to be able to handle that situation for us. Uh, it has worked uh, very, very well for us, very well, as a matter of fact. I'm with On Common Ground News, and our um, newspaper is African-American-owned. Uh, we started it 25 years ago, and we are the legal organ for the city of Stonecrest. Uh, we cover all issues related to the city of Stonecrest, handle um, much of their advertising. So my interest is this. I, I um, was wondering if uh, someone from whoever, I'm not sure who, this question would be addressed to, but if you could just tell us how this relationship was formed between the two cities and just speak more on the partnership, where, where you see the partnership uh, between the two cities going. Man, so I'll, I'll start and then I'll, I'll, I'll hand it over uh, to you. Um, relationships is everything. And uh, having started this relationship uh, in other areas, there were two key uh, players um, and uh, executives involved in this. One is that our uh, Senior Director of uh, Cultural and Community Affairs, uh, Mr. Al Franklin. Uh, he has been the linchpin for our relationships internationally, not only with just uh, 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 this opportunity, but uh, in Guyana and some other places uh, also. Uh, second is um, uh, Dr. Casey Jabari. He has also been uh, a connection in person of extreme value that have linked all of us together to be able to start uh, these opportunities. And from there, we uh, reached out to uh, Dr. Jabari, and he started to uh, introduce us to other uh, countries and cities that were like kind, and that's how we met uh, uh, Mayor Mensa and started to have a conversation to, uh, from there. Well, thank you, Pamela. Um, good afternoon. Mayor of City of Stonecrest, Mayor Jason Larry. Good afternoon, Mayor of Casau, Ghana, Mayor Mensa, uh, Your Royal Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses on this call, all protocols observed. Uh, this is an effort to build a bridge between Africans on the continent and Africans in diaspora or as is commonly used, the formerly enslaved. The dynamic in the world is moving towards black men identifying themselves for who we are and also to preach our beauty, our culture, our heritage, our natural resources and the best people to help Africa develop our brothers and sisters in diaspora. Uh, for us at Warrington Consulting, this is just building a bridge thousands and thousands of miles and reconnecting our black brothers around the globe to Africa. The sister city relationship with Ghana is first among many. Uh, we shall be doing this with Nigeria and almost all 54 countries in Africa. We alone, Africans, black men, we and women, we are the only one that can impact Africa and build the Africa we want. Africa is our motherland, and we have to jump on that train to be part of the African development agenda. Mayor Larry, I thank you so much for what you've done for the continent and what you continue to do for leaders out of Africa. Uh, you've done tremendously great, you've given us great opportunities uh, over the years, and I want to thank you especially. And all our brothers on this call globally, blacks anywhere in the world, welcome to Ghana, welcome to Kassau. Thank you. Well, thank you, Dr. Jabari. I see we have Mr. Saho 
on the line as well. Sir, if you'd like to take the reins, I'll gladly. Thank you very much, Pamela McKinney. So to each and every one of you, my name again is Willie Soko. I'm a marketing communication consultant with emphasis on radio and television. And I'm getting you live from Lagos, Nigeria. So in Hausa means market. So our biggest potential here is a huge market. And of course, when you come to Kaswa, our market days, there are two days in a week that are serious, serious market days. And you have uh, market actors coming from all over West Africa. And so we, 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 we are mostly referred to as the epitome of West Africa. We have a huge, I mean, um, council of tribal chiefs of which they, they, they have a leader and they represent the various um, countries and communities and ethnic groups within um, West Africa. So we interact a lot. We, we are pretty new. As you know, we are like eight years old as a city. We have a huge potential in terms of housing because Accra, which is the capital city, is about um, 31 kilometers away from here. And so there's a growth pole effect on, on the city of Kaswa, where you have most of the residents here, you know, commuting to Accra to go and work. And then if there's anything of Accra which is not of Kaswa, then of course it is because of the capital city, because we have huge daytime population and nighttime population. And so there's this um, 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 housing gap. And so I'm so happy that uh, Mayor Larry uh, has a city that has a especially um, 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 skill in, in housing. So we can also learn a lot from there. We, we, we have a diversified cultural group. In fact, when it comes to festivals, you can imagine with all the ethnic groups in West Africa displaying their cultural you know, relics and so on in Kaswa, you, you marvel at it. We also have a huge potential for uh, African Americans who want to do African studies. Because Castor is more or less an epitome of um, 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 West Africa. Any ethnic uh, dynamics that want to be studied, you can get some kind of samples here in Castor to study um, um, from. And apart from the huge pop uh, you know, population, we also have um, this huge. Um, generation of refuse, which I know can serve as a as 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 a very good raw material for the waste to energy sector in terms of turning um, waste management ground to to become beneficial. We are also, I mean, strategically positioned so that the city of Kaswa is more or less a, a transitional zone from the greater Accra region to central region, and then from the um, eastern region to central region and so on. And so we are very close to marvelous and great, you know, um, um, tourist um, attractions, such as the castles and, 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 and the forts, and then the point of life, uh, last bath, and so on. And so we have all these potentials that uh, we want to bring on board. And also to learn from the success stories of the Stone Crest City. We have done most for ourselves. You know, when we come to the Central Region, we are one of the best cities uh, since eight years that we've been, uh, I mean, uh, practicing ourselves. However, uh, unlike the contracts for, I don't know how, I've forgotten how uh, Mayor Larry described his own. We have most of our officers being employed by a central entity called the Local Government Service. But there are some sectors of revenue generation that we have actually contacted with um, third parties. And so we have officers from the local government services who are permanently employed to work with assembly, and they supervise these uh, third party contractors. And they have been doing so great uh, comparatively in terms of our, our, our region. But of course, it cannot be compared to the standards that uh, Medellari uh, was talking about. And so we have a strong historical and cultural um, 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 legacies that we can offer. And then also some um, rural and, if you like, African 
uh, um, information that can also help for African Americans who want to venture into the study of Africa to also understand. So basically, that's what I have to say for now. Thank you. Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, the- I bring to you at this time the one and only, <laughs> irrepressible, the incomparable, India Mabiaku, Nigeria's gift to the world. Give it to them, Thank brother. You, Thank you very much for that introduction. I, I wonder, I mean, I'm so happy being on this forum with you guys. It's it's fun to know that a place I once passed through and was very difficult to go through. It took us about eight hours to pass through Kaswa, you know, um, many years ago when I went to Kamanda. You know, now the last time I went to, through through Kaswa, I found that it's more open now. It makes more sense that people are beginning to open their minds towards the reality of what space can create, of what commerce can create, of what a people can build. I'm happy you used the last thing you stated, the picture you created of the Dubai experiment and the Las Vegas experiment. Kaswa is more natural. So Kaswa is more, um, it's more valuable to any tenable system in the world. Kaswa, ah, no, I love that place. Ourselves a little, and we can go on, the, go on with the meeting, okay? It's by joining forces as opposed to working separate. So I see these relationships of sister cities as an opportunity for us to demonstrate to others that our best opportunity to progress and continue to thrive and move forward is through collaborative efforts. My brother Larry made reference to the fact that there's a lot that the people of Stonecrest could learn from the people of Kaswa. We often say that people in the diaspora are materially wealthy but spiritually bankrupt. Mm. On the continent of Africa, we meet people that are spiritually wealthy and may not have the material possessions only because of the devaluation of the African continent by colonizers. So these collaborations show an awareness of where our strengths lie, an awareness of what we can learn from each other, and it's an awareness that our salvation is really in our ability to communicate and collaborate with each other. Because these former colonizers and former enslavers will never allow us to make progress. So any thought to the contrary is an illusion. And the only salvation we actually have is what we will carve out ourselves through our collaborations with one another so that we can make Africa the place we would like it to be and develop the people that are all part of our family. So I'm just very happy to see this happen. The more the merrier, as we say, because the more leaders show the ability to collaborate it sends a message that reverberates to people that admire the leaders that collaboration may be not just doable but it's necessary and important so i'm just happy to have the invitation to be here senior director of community and cultural affair for the city of stonecraft and uh, one of my principal roles is actually working uh, to create and formalize great international relationships, uh, which we have done uh, with Guyana, as the mayor has said prior. Uh, some of the benefits, we'll just go through some of the direct benefits of things that we've done with uh, Guyana. 
uh, so that you can kind of get an idea. Uh, what we aim to do is for uh, the South to have a home uh, with their people who are living here in the diaspora. So that's the other element uh, that does not necessarily come out. Uh, with Guyana, we've had uh, several uh, visitations of the senior uh, leaders from the presidency to actually come all the way down from the president of the country, uh, vice president, uh, attorney general, uh, the minister of infrastructure. Uh, we recently hosted a, uh, a symposium uh, with Guyana, and it turned out to be one of the biggest events that we've had here uh, inside of our council chambers, and we did a, uh, a wonderful symposium, but also a reception. Um, so that's an a, a additional benefit. So wonderful. Yes. wonderful. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity just to be in, involved in um, on on the call with with you all, um, your royal highnesses and and majesties and wonderful uh, wonderful people. I'm just very excited. Um, I wanted to briefly speak on on behalf of um, Oba Baba Tunde. Um, it's a company that I co-founded with Dr. Gessi Jabari. Um, and we are uh, planning on and actually in, in the process of um, just kind of developing strategies and plans for growth opportunities within and between um, organizations both here and in Africa being the conduit, somewhat of a bridge to um, allow for <clears throat> the diaspora to uh, be a part of opportunities in Africa as well as um, helping Africa, specifically um, in Ghana, uh, to uh, to be um, tech, more technologically advanced, to help to build physical and social infrastructure uh, there, um, and, as, and as well as just renewable water, renewable energy, wireless power, um, and even security, uh, presidential security at the highest level. So um, I just wanted to share that with, uh, with everyone, and uh, we're just very excited to to be involved in, in working on on, um, on behalf of this uh, great initiative. Let say a big thank you to, uh, there's a blogger, a blogger on the line who is uh, hugely popular and I will make this uh, ceremony go viral. His name is uh, Echo Simpson. Uh, okay. If, uh, a few words and also if uh, Mr. Ibrahim Bedu, uh, the executive director of uh, our foundation. Finally, it's here. A journey that began with the Okokase Foundation and that diaspora integration project. We are happy that we are seeing the finality of this and we hope that the two cities connect economically. That is what we this we we, we, we hope that this this city arrangement uh, comes with. As the as Mayor Minister said Kaswa is, is, is the fastest growing city in, in West Africa as we speak today. So there's a lot of economic viability when it, when, when, when it comes to the economy. So uh, we, we want to see that partnership to, 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 to make sure that the, the arrangement becomes very successful economically, empower the, the people of these two cities. There's a lot that can be done within this, this arrangement and we hope that this arrangement will not be on just paper, but will people of Kaswa, people of Stonecrest will see and feel it that indeed this marriage has given, has come to, to, to fusion. So I won't I wouldn't say much. I think that two mayors have already done the job. Thank you very much. We we hope to extend this sister city arrangement to other uh, cities in Cape in the region. We are working on with uh, AAK currently. And uh, we will outdoor that one also. Obokase Foundation is also overseeing the University of Obokase of Excellence University, which we have our approvals ably uh, introducing the university, and we draw our, our hands to, to the to the world. Anybody who hopes to support the, the project, the university, we are most welcome. We are most welcome to support, and we also open our doors to to anyone who, who would seek our services. Uh, out there. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you, sir. I, I appreciate that. Um, I also want to give a, another special re recognition to uh, 
and I, I know he's been on Chief Nana Obakesi. Um, uh, he's, uh, he's 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 a good friend, a great friend of Stonecrest, and he's uh, a part of um, you know while we're here today, a big part as a matter of fact. And I wanted to recognize him specifically. Um, also, uh, I have uh, 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 on the uh, call here. I recognize him by name. My senior director of economic development, who is Clarence Boone. Uh, he is the centerpiece of Stonecrest, and why we are are uh, as successful as we are today, along with um, from the Stonecrest Economic Development Board, Dr. Cynthia Elliott. Uh, I see her also, along with the uh, staff members from uh, Angela Venable and Mr. Adrian Bell and, and, and a few others, uh, along with, uh, of course, some of uh, Valerie Morgan from On Common Ground. Long and short of it is where we are here today, relationship is the key. That's what we are. The relationship is the key. And what our goal is, folks, is to show the rest of the world is that Africans and African Americans can come together and form a, 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 a great uh, thing between the, the, uh, the two cities. Um, folks worldwide think that uh, for some uh, crazy reason that uh, uh, we can't get along and create commerce and wealth and education for our people. We can do that. And um, uh, Mayor Mensa um, and I are going to show you, you know, how that's done. So uh, I really want to uh, say thank you uh, to the team. And uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, and thank you, uh, 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 everybody else, for, for setting this up. So thank you so much. So Mayor Michael Mensa. Thank you very much. I, I, I first of all want to express my indebtedness to God Almighty for this great opportunity to be linked up with our brothers and sisters in the diaspora, especially from the city of Stonecrest. And then I would want to also express my heartfelt gratitude to Major Larry, Mayor Larry for such a wonderful opportunity and cooperation. And I believe that this is going to be the beginning of a greater mutual <coughs> beneficial relationship, which, like you rightly said, is going to set as an example for the rest of the world to know. And to Nana Obokesi and your team, I, I bow. And Nana has been a friend, a brother, and everything. We, we've done a lot of things together. And so I wasn't surprised. I believed in his powers to get this on board. And so when... He initiated and informed me I knew he was going to lead to a successful end like this. And I want to thank everybody um, on board today for this special program and ceremony. I also, also want to extend my gratitude to my officers that I work with. Uh, most of them have left their busy schedules and they are on board to listen to this all and watch this all important um, occasion. And I would want to conclude by saying that this uh virtual ceremony and so on would actually be meaningless if it is not tailored and i mean um trinkled down to our people to the benefit of the people of the two cities and for us that is what we stand for and you can see that from the uh, narrations and statements of uh, mayor larry and so we are glad to know that this is going to lead to a successful end and i also want to finally say that anything that the city of Kaswa must do to ensure that this twinning gets to a level that will be enviable the world over, we are more than prepared and ready to cooperate to ensure that this relationship uh, becomes a legacy so that generations currently and generations are born would benefit from this all-important relationship. Thank you very much, everyone.